Welcome to Statics. Two-force and three-force members. Two-force member is a special classification of member types. Recognizing the presence of two-force members in a structure can ease the analysis. A two-force member is a member that has forces applied at only two points, such as point A and B of the link shown. There may be no couples, or in other words, no moments applied to the member. Also, unless the member is a vertical member, the self-weight of the member is neglected. This is often fine to do when the applied force is much larger than the member weight. If these three conditions are met, then the member is a two-force member. In a two-force member, the line of action for both forces then passes through points A and B. Also, force A is equal and opposite in magnitude and direction to force B. We call the condition on the top tension and the condition on the bottom compression. Also, the member is in rotational equilibrium. In other words, the member won't rotate. It is not necessary that a two-force member be straight. It can be bent or curved as shown here. Note, however, that the line of actions of the forces are the same line. Here's an example of how recognizing a two-force member can ease analysis. Suppose we want to find the support reaction forces for the structure. Member AB is a two-force member, and the line of action for both forces passes through points A and B. Therefore, I can draw a free body diagram of the other member like this, with a single resultant force at the pin support at point B, acting in the angle theta. Having only one unknown reaction force at B is a better option than having two unknown forces, Bx and By, at the pin. We see two-force members commonly in statics and in real structures. A three-force member is another special classification of member types. If a member is subjected to three coplanar forces, then the forces must either be concurrent or parallel if the member is in equilibrium. Here's an example of the three forces being parallel on a member. And here's an example of the three forces being concurrent on a member. For concurrent systems, the lines of action of the three forces intersect at a single point, shown here as point C. The sum of the moments about the point is zero, since the moment arms of the three forces is zero. The point of intersection may be at the point of application of one of the forces, though that is not the case in this example. Here's another example of a three-force member. This member has a pin support at A, a smooth surface support at B, and is acted on by its own self-weight. A free body diagram shows the horizontal and vertical components of the support reaction at point A, and the smooth surface support reaction acting normal to the surface. The line of action for Bx and the weight intersect at point C. The horizontal and vertical support reactions at point A are just components of a single reaction force. The line of action of the force must also pass through point C. Concurrent three-force members are interesting and may save some analysis time. However, recognizing and applying the concurrent force properties is generally not a major time saver. Let's review our problem-solving approach for rigid bodies in equilibrium in two dimensions. As always, we'll start with a free body diagram. As we construct that diagram, we will look for two force members that simplify the number of unknown support reactions. Then we will apply our equations of equilibrium, being on the lookout for equations that have just a single unknown to give us a direct solution.